Well gone. One more will allow you. 2,500 you've still got. Now, for £3,000 again, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? <laughs> it is. You? The top for the three thousand. Come on! Ooh. It's a question. Okay, singer Mary Hopkins had a hit record with "Those Were the Days." Is that true or false? True. Three thousand pounds. Well done. Okay. Three screens to go. One hotspot more will allow you. Okay, for three thousand five hundred pounds, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? For three thousand. Yeah. Top. Hey, top. Up the top again for three five. Yes! Well done. Okay. Now this is the situation we got. You've already got three thousand five hundred pounds. You've already got all those prizes. You allowed one more hot spot, so you don't need to go to the end bank if you do it here. This is where you can hit the jackpot without even going to the end. All right. The very best of luck. We'll take a huge jump now from three five up to the jackpot. It's either the top, it's either the middle or the bottom. And if you're going to get a question, you've got to get it right. Top, middle, or bottom for the jackpot. Bottom. Bottom. The bottom for the jackpot, come on! Oh. No! No! <laughs> this is it. You've got one more chance. You've got three five. I won't go through all that again. It's the last bank, it's over the top. It's over the middle or the bottom for five thousand pounds. Top, middle or bottom, middle or bottom. Middle. Hey, middle. The middle one for the double, please! Oh, I don't believe it. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Come on. Oh, unbelievable. What a, well done. Thank you. You're smashing. Uh, just a second. OK, let's have a look at the monitors. Let's see where they were. Oh, you need to go up the top. Oh, yes. Oh, never mind. Dear. Oh, never mind, OK? Yeah. No, well, that was a close run thing. And let's tell you what you're going to take away with you tonight. You've won a porcelain dinner service, a trip to Paris, a trip on Concord, the money you won earlier on, plus the money there, £3,700. Yes. Not a bad night's work. Excellent. And thank you for all the thank nice you. work, and I'm sure a lot of people will send their gratitude for all the lives you save as no well. Problem. You can do a worthwhile job. Just enjoy the money, all right? Yes. That's it. Till we see you again sometime. Good night, God bless. All right, good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya. Good night. number three. You said cup of tea. That's the top answer. Mecca Bingo Online. Sponsors of Challenge. Losing your sight is huge. Yay, I thought this can't be happening. Not me. I lost my natural freedom. I lost my identity. I lost everything. That's when I knew I've got to do something. Mum? That's when I picked up the phone. To help fund an RNIB sight loss counsellor, text TALK to 70020 to give £5 today and help make sure people like Pearl are ready to accept their sight loss diagnosis. My counselling continued for a good few sessions and it was amazing. Because someone on the other end said, we're here to help, and that's all I needed. <laughs> Every day, 250 people in the UK will start to lose their sight and they shouldn't have to face it alone. Please text TALK to 70020 to give £5 today to help fund a sight loss counsellor or search RNIB, still me. See me, not my sight loss. Kimberly calculated from the beginning, how do I become famous? What was it like working with your wife? <laughs> the British Empire. For some, its former glory has been called into question. But is it really a legacy of bloody conquest and exploitation? You've done something wrong, go in the hole. People just don't want to go there. This is intense. Join me, Al Murray. And me. Quickly, quickly. As we journey to find out. Can we get out now? Why does everyone hate the British Empire?
starts Monday the 23rd of October on Sky History. This is Germany calling. Germany calling. Du kriegst mal einen Plan gegen Hitler vorzugehen. We are hashtag blessed to have the world's most successful game show right here. Buzz in for Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. 66. Give us a clickety click if you can still hear us. Mecha Bingo Online. Sponsors of Challenge. On Strike It Lucky tonight, a jackpot of £5,000. <laughs> Sample the High Life of a week in New York. Glide in grandeur, win a Rolls Royce for a day. Or visit your kind of town, the Windy City, Chicago. All these prizes to be won tonight on Strike It Lucky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your host, Michael Barrymore. Hey, Beryl. Yes, eh? Oh, yes, eh? <laughs> no, I think I've got a question now. Um, <laughs> what shall I ask you? No, Beryl, you... Uh, Warren? All right. How are you going? All right, Warren. Oh, I like the gear. Thank you. <laughs> where, where have you come as tonight, Warren? Normal wisdom. <laughs> Normal wisdom? <laughs> no, that's a joke. <laughs> Just myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do, Norman? I wish I could, mate, but I think you'd do much better than me. No, I thought you would, Warren. Yeah, yeah I'll see you. Now, where about you from? Originally, Michael, we are from Jamaica, but I live in Hulls in North West Kent. Oh, well, originally, Beryl, I'm from London, and now I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of moving to Jamaica. <laughs> it's sunnier, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, Warren? Me? I'm from Bristol, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't, you, you're not very confident, are you, Warren? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Something got a bit mixed up there. But All right, nice to see you. Uh, your son? Yeah, I am a son. <laughs> yeah, he's my son. <laughs> <laughs> Did you crack up laughing when he was... <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do, Warren? I'm an assistant buyer for Champion Sports. Oh, for all the, uh, what, the sports gear? All the sports gear, yeah, the trainers, jackets, yeah. whatever. Yeah, is, he a good, is he a good son, Beryl? He's extremely good son, Michael. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of him. Yes. He's lovely. Oh, I see. And what's Mum like at home? Um, she's fab, but she's a bit house proud. If you're in her house for more than two minutes, she'll start cleaning you. Oh, really? Yeah. She gets the Uber out on Sunday morning, she's there singing with the Uber. <laughs> she hasn't turned it off, oh. mind you, it's still... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have it on, do you? Oh, you've got a detachable one, have you? Yes, I have, and, um... <laughs> <laughs> well, most people have got the uprights, don't they? <laughs> It's much easier, isn't it? It is, it, it yeah, is, yeah. Because you've got to pull the cylinder yeah, one, Yeah, it though. droops everywhere and you want it to be off right, Handy for the curtains, though, aren't they, Beryl? You know, <laughs> when you want to... But you, but you, um, you sing into yours, do you? Yes, I um, sometimes ask Warren to um, call me out on the stage and... Uh, <laughs> so yeah. I go around that little bit, yeah, and I do an Al Green. <laughs> do an Al... <laughs> bit of Al Green? Bit of Al Green. Oh, you're into that. So what sort of numbers do you... Can she sing? Not at all, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your ambitions then? I mean, obviously, you like singing. Would you have liked to have sung? Yes, I have um, quite a few, but two fantasies. Yeah, I would have liked to be an actress and a singer. Ah. But unfortunately, you I went, went the, by. You went for the family and all that, yeah. and hard work. Yeah. yeah. And the Uber. And the Uber, Uber. yeah. <laughs> well, what about you, Warren? I uh, want to be famous, want to act, have my own show, <laughs> and so on. Do you want to give me a shot? Give you a shot of what? Well, you, you come behind it, me, and I'll go out there. <laughs> oh, we've had it before, yeah, if you want to say it. What's your name? And what's your name? <laughs> Warren. <laughs> and are you a mother and son? Uh, <laughs> Mm, Beryl adopted me. <laughs> now, Beryl, is he a good son? No woman, no cry. 
No woman, no cry. <laughs> well, I'll some more. That way, Randy. You've got to keep, keep yourself that way, Warren. That's your camera there. Five. Well, it was mine just now. <laughs> now it's yours, Warren. Is he a good son, then? He's very. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she likes singing into the Uber. Yeah. So what do you want to do when you're growing up? I want to be you. <laughs> I want to be me, I want to be me, what else can I be? I want to be, keep your nose out. <laughs> I want to be... The neighbours. <laughs> the neighbours. Oh, the neighbours. Yeah, the neighbours. I see. So is that it? So you want to go on to the next one? Mm, shall I? No, no. I'll give them a All right, then. Okay. Well done, Warren. Nicely presented. Very nice. OK, best of luck on the show. Thank nice to meet you, Meryl. Andrew you. Warren. Good luck to you. So, Isabel, nice yeah. to meet you. Well, we met just now, didn't we? we? Did, and yes. Trevor, and yes. where about you from? Anglesey. Anglesey. Yeah. And uh, who, are you married? Yes. yes. Yeah? yeah. And where did you meet? Um, well, we met when Trevor was singing in a pub, in a duo. Ah. And then um, when we got married, we formed a duo of our own. Oh, you sing this as well. we've been singing yeah. ever since. Sing here, yeah. see Beryl. Took it up. Are you semi-pros? Yeah, semi-professional. No, semi-professional. Yeah. Semi-professional, yeah. yeah. So what do you do for your work? Uh, I work in a, a local um, construction company in the yep. offices. I see. And yeah. Beryl? It's a bell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a housewife, but I... Uh, teach a bit of karate as well. Would you like to do the singing all the time? Well, um, we, we enjoy doing it. We, we do it about uh, once a fortnight. What sort of numbers are you into? Ooh. Well, yeah. I think you'd call it middle of the road. Middle of the road. Yeah, can you give us a little rendition so we can... Tonight you're mine Completely You give your love So sweetly Tonight light of love is in your eyes But will you love me tomorrow? Sorry about the delay. We've been singing and Warren's been uh, sort of taking over at the end. Never mind. All right, now, Elaine. Yes. 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 Yeah. And what do you do, Elaine? I'm a legal executive. Mm hmm Yes. All right. And Di? Hello. Yeah. That, that wasn't a request. I mean, that's your name. <laughs> and, um, where are you from, Di? I'm from Nottingham. You're from Nottingham. And uh, wh what do you do? I'm a psychologist. Oh, really? Yeah. Afraid so. <laughs> A lot of people say that I, I, I really seriously need looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and how, how would you judge somebody? Or, or... I'm afraid I'd look at the shoes. The shoes? Yep, the shoes. Oh. No, can you... Do you can, uh, excuse me. Just have a... Uh, uh, there we are. Now, there's a lot to look at here, I can yeah. tell you that. There, there we are. Right. First of all, you look to see if you've left the price tag on, which you haven't. Very I nice. Have, I haven't left the price tag no. on, no. no. Well, what can you tell from that? <laughs> Good, nice, shiny person, clean living lad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon, Trev? Size 12. Yes, size 12. Size 12. Yeah. Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can tell that just from that, can you? Certainly can. Yeah. I borrowed these off a bloke who killed his mother. But there you go. Nice to you. you got any hobbies for life? Uh, I've done a bit of parachuting, paragliding. I've got two pussy cats. Yes? I usually have one of them in bed with me. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Well, it's very lonely because my it's boyfriend... It's lonely. Well, my boyfriend, Adrian, he works away, you see. Yeah. So I don't see him from Monday to Friday. So I do need some sort of, you know... You need something to stroke, really. yeah. <laughs> it suits all the way the cares of the world. It if, does. If you're really stressed up... If you're stressed, stressed yeah. up... Stroke, Just stroke a cat. Stroke a cat. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and when the boyfriend arrives back at the weekend... Oh, well, I boot the cat out. <laughs> so, you... Catch out the window. Out the window. Yes. And yeah. what's the boy's name? Adrian. And does Adrian stay for the weekend? He does, yes. <laughs> and and does, uh, does he not ask where the cat's gone? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does he not... 
Does he not make an inquiry after that, Elaine? Does he not say, where no. is that? Where well, is my cat? They're usually on the settee or, you know, under the bed, usually. They're under the bed? Yeah. Yes, OK. And, and you've got any other hobbies at all? Well, I do play the clarinet, but very, very badly. Oh. You got it with you? I have, yes. Yes. <laughs> Can we have a go at that as well, then? Well... <laughs> yes, I had heard about this. Have you? And I don't meet you to now, but... Oh. What do you want me to play? Shall I do Pink Panther or shall I do Stranger on the Shore? Well, see, they're, they're the only two you know, yeah. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you want to I might do a little bit of Ackerbill catch. All right, then, yeah, go for it, Elaine. Let's see what you... Can... <laughs> Side the other, the first couple of cross gets a chance to go into a jackpot tonight and win anything up to five thousand pounds. You toss the coin earlier on to decide who's going first. So if your partners would like to go to their places, we'll start. Let's give them a nice bit of encouragement. Let's help them along. Off you go. <laughs> okay. Come on, mummy. You there? Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. OK, the first category is Great Willies for you, Warren. Great Willies. <laughs> Two, three or four? Three, please. Three. This Willie rides a horse. This really... Thorn. Willie Thorn? Oh, no! No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I have to take your first answer, <gasps> Warren. You all right? Sorry yeah. about that. Never mind, we'll have a chance in a minute. Trevor, this Willie rides a horse. Willie Carson. Uh, this Willie plays snooker. Uh, Willie Thorn. This Willie is a raconteur and writer. Uh, Willie Rushton. That's it, three moves are yours. OK, all right. <laughs> Bit of bad luck there, Beryl, but never mind. We'll be OK. First screen we give absolutely free, Isabel. We've got to watch out for the hotspots. What is a hotspot? No! no. <laughs> OK, Isabel, strike the screen. Oh, give it a wallop, love, won't you? <laughs> Home karaoke. <laughs> Home karaoke machine, you want to bank that? Or is it on? <laughs> Go on. I think, really, you can sing all right without the karaoke. Strike the screen. And a Rolls Royce for a day and a home karaoke. Do you want to bank those or are you going on? Bank them? You're safe. Stick! <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. What are you going to do? Wait, on. You're moving on? All right. A hundred pounds! And in the karaoke machine. Well done. All right. Give them that machine a wallop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. She's got a strong hand, hasn't she? She was a dust of ink. Yeah, I wish I could. <laughs> right. Shakespearean characters for you, Elaine. I'll two, three, or four. Two. two. For your first move. Who is famous for his yellow stockings and cross garters in the play Twelfth Night? You're not sure? Take a guess, Elaine. Patricio. Patricio is not right, I'm afraid. Warren? Malvolio. Malvolio is right. What is the name of the king of the fairies in the play A Midsummer Night's Dream? Oberon. Two moves are yours. All right, there you are. OK, Beryl, first screen is free for you. Just do it with that hand so that we can oh, see yeah. it at home. That's it. Lovely. All right, strike the screen. Let's see what we've got. £200. <laughs> you want to bank it? Or are you going on? Come on! You going on? Oh. Go on, it's up to you. Hit <laughs> it. All right. Go on to the next category, which is pocket money for you. Trevor, pocket money. Two, three, oh, or four. Two, please. Two. For your first move, in the following countries, you would spend which of these currencies? Drachma. Which country would you spend drachma? Greece. And yen? In Japan. That's it. The two moves are yours. All right. Okay. Well, strike the screen. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Feeling that would be there. All right, that's out of the way. You've lost nothing. We go on to the next category, which is the weather for you, Elaine. Two, three, or four? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Good girl. All right, here we go. What are the following? Monsoon. What is the monsoon? A wind. 
rain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, love. I do have to come down and ask the same question. What are the following? Monsoon. Rain. Yeah, all right. And blizzards. Blizzard. Snow. Snow and roaring forties. Wind. Good guess. Well done. All right, Warren, that's yours. All right. You like punch in the air, don't you, Beryl? Eh? All right, strike the screen. Let's see what you got. Oh! All right, that's got that one out of the way. We're back now with you, Trevor. It's great sports stars. How are you on sport, Trev? Two, please. Two. All right, you like that, are you? OK. The following people were masters at which particular sport? Rod Laver. Tennis. And Bobby Charlton. Football. Not a bad category. All right, two of yours. OK. <laughs> well, strike the screen. So what you got? Hostess trolley. Do you want to bank the hostess trolley? Move on. Move on. Move on. Cost a few, Bob, you know? Sight the screen. <laughs> oh! OK, you lost a trolley. You'll have to get takeaway from now on. Now, we're going to the <laughs> next category, which is Australian words for you, Elaine. We need I to get you started. Three. Three? Yes. All right, best of luck. This word describes a curved stick that should return to you when thrown. Boomerang. Throw. Boomerangs, right. And Rolf Harris is famous for playing this instrument. A didgeridoo. And this is the Australian word for a wild dog. A dingo. You're off. There they are. All right. <laughs> there they are, Dive. Just come on a little bit there. That's it. Strike the screen. There you go. A luxury Ooh. laundry. <laughs> You would have liked that. Yeah. All right, you okay? You're gonna the screen. Oh, oh, you lose those two. We go on to the next ca ca uh, category, which is how many sides for you, Warren? How many sides? Two, three, or four? Oh dear. All right, there's three. Three. How many sides do the following shapes have? Octagon. Eight. Pentagon. Five. Quadrangle. Four. That's it. Three moves the yours. Okay. <laughs> That's it, Beryl. Strike the screen. French perfumes. Oh. You want to bank those? Or is it you're going over? There you go. All right. <laughs> a fridge and a French perfume. <laughs> Bank it, bank it, bank it, bank it, bank it. They got a bank it. All right, we come on to the next category. Eh? What is she like? What is she like? <laughs> well, she obviously wants a fridge. She'll be what? singing to that as well now. Yeah. <laughs> the lighting will be better anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The next category, which continent? Two que uh, screens are up there, Trevor, I've got to ask you a minimum, Fine. Of, Fine. Uh, yes, a minimum of two questions. In which continent is Alaska? North America. In which continent is Bolivia? South America. Two moves are yours. All right, OK. <laughs> Isabel, straight to the screen. See what you got? A dishwasher. <laughs> Anyone about the dishwasher? Or are you going on? Well, we've got one, so... All right, oh. Straight to the screen. <laughs> A week in Chicago. Oh, I'm proud. Okay. Right, Beryl. Uh, sorry, I keep calling you Beryl. She's up there. Isabel and Trev, have you got to decide whether you want to bank the holiday in Chicago and the dishwasher, or answer the main strike it lucky question? We're going to find out what they're going to do in a couple of minutes' time. We'll see you after the break. All right, see you then. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> Congratulations, 82. You're straight on through to the next round. The bar I keep the costs low by not having fancy sets and scenery or A-list actors. So that's why they hired me. Matt from Macclesfield. <laughs> you see, with the bar, it's the same reliable network, flexible monthly plans, with prices starting from just... Five pounds a month! <laughs> Labara. Smarter. Smarter. I love spoiling my grandkids. 
I love a bit of sun. I love treating myself with the prize I won in the Age UK Weekly Lottery. I love the fact there's no rollovers, just a thousand prizes every week. I love not having to check my numbers. My prize arrived automatically. I love the top weekly prize of £2,000 and the chance to win £25,000 four times a year. And I love the price. Just one pound to play. Best of all, play the Edge UK Weekly Lottery and you'll help us answer calls from older people in need. I love being here for older people when they need help and support. It's easy to enter. <laughs> Search Edge UK Play or call today. You could be one of our 1,000 guaranteed winners every week. What's not to love? Which would you choose? This robot vacuum cleaner? Or this one from Woucher? Woucher, save now, live wow. Pets rest a little easier knowing they have pet plan insurance. They can relax knowing 97% of claims are paid and that we'll never charge more for claiming. Sign up today and save 10% at petplan.co.uk. With Sky Store, you're in for an explosive mission. Our lives are the sum of our choices. This mission of yours is gonna cost you dearly. Buy and keep for $13.99. He knows the best way to get to me is through all of you. None of our lives can matter more than this mission. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Available now in Sky Store, the ultimate movie collection. Eight winners are back for their biggest test yet. You have four hours to capture Judy Dench. The winner of Portrait Artist of the Decade is... Oh, Queen Bee, you've buzzed too early again. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> a nice couple of minutes, did you? Right, welcome back to Strike It Lucky. The situation we've got is Di is just coming up to the halfway mark, Beryl's three away from the end there, and we've got Isabel and Trevor here on the main Strike It Lucky question. Now, you've got your holiday in Chicago there and the dishwasher. You can bank them, they're safe, or you're going to answer the question, take a chance to you're get to the final. Take a chance. You're going to go for it? All right, the very best of luck. I'll ask, you, uh, I'll ask you this question, you can confer as loud as you like, and then I'll ask you the question again if, if need be, and then I must have an answer, right? No help if possible, all right. The popular King Richard I of England struck it lucky when he was given an affectionate name by his subjects during the cru Crusades. By what name was he better known? Okay, do you know what? Richard the Lionheart. You're going on to tonight's final, that's it, well done. Isabel, you go back to your husband. That's it. Oh, Beryl. Okay, well done indeed. Well, Elaine and Di, we're a bit unlucky with the questions there, Elaine. We were, yes. Never mind, we better yes. find something for you, shall we? Oh, if you, we'll you know, but now we don't send anybody away without anything, so uh, we'll just um, give these things a knock. <laughs> 100 pounds? <laughs> Let me sniff that. And racing at Brown. <laughs> That'd be nice. There we are. OK. All right, so there's £100 and a rating at Brown's Hatch. Thanks. Thank you. For being great contestants. See you, guys. <laughs> Lovely to have met you. All right, and Warren and Beryl, you're taking away with you tonight uh, the silver cocktail shaker, the French perfumes, you've won a fridge, and £200 as well. OK, you had a nice day with us. And lovely to meet you, Beryl. You were smashing. Look after him. All the best in your career. <laughs> Right. Now, Isabel and Trevor, you've already won a home karaoke set, a Rolls Royce for a day, a dishwasher, a hundred pound, a holiday in Chicago, a chance now to win anything up to five thousand pounds. Let's give a nice round of applause. Isabel and Trevor, that's what's going on. Good luck. Good luck. stand there, Isabel. He's coming there. And you like to stand there, Trevor? All right. 
OK, here's how we play the end game. We played the game as you did before, but this time we played the game horizontally and vertically. I'm going to ask you which move you want to make. You shout out top, middle or bottom. If you look at the screens there, now you can see we've got ten arrows, ten questions and ten hotspots. If we go for our top money tonight of £5,000, no more than two hotspots, 4000 no more than three, and 3000 no more than four. Before you make your mind up, the computer will now jumble them all up. <laughs> That's it, they've gone. Your prizes are saved, so what do you want to do? Three, four, or five thousand pounds? What do you think they should do? I'm going to go for this. They're going to go for the five thousand, okay? There we are, Trevor. Let me stand down there. Let me stay side by side. Keep that level, you know the distance. All right, okay, all right. For your first five hundred pounds, is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? Where do you want to go? Yeah. Up the top for the first 500. Come on. Yes! We're on our way. OK, your 500 to the better. Top, middle or bottom for a thousand pounds. Top, middle or bottom. Go down the bottom. They want to go down the bottom for a thousand pounds. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Russia bear there. OK. All right. That's one hot spot that we'll allow you. One more we'll allow you. You've got 500. Now this, for this one, for a thousand pounds. Top, middle or bottom. Where do you want to go? <laughs> Go the top. You want to go back up the top again for a thousand pounds? Come on! Oh! Oh, we've got Never a long mind. way to go. Never mind. Never mind. And you've got the two hot spots for LA, OK? So if you come over here, no more hot spots. You can get a question. It's got to be right. This time, for a thousand pounds, it's over the top, the middle, or the bottom. Where do you want to go? The middle. Top, middle, or bottom. Middle. Middle. In the middle, In the middle for a thousand pounds. Come on, be fair. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dame Edith Sitwell was a famous drag artist of Victorian times. Is that true or false? I've never heard the name. No. We'll say false. false. Well done. She was a poet. Thousand pounds. <laughs> OK. That's it. Over your cup. All right. <laughs> well, One thousand five hundred pounds. Is it the top, the middle, or the bottom? Where do you want to go? You've got the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to the middle again. They want to go in the middle again for fifteen hundred. Come on. Oh! Well, you'd have had a job to get in that second half. Yes. They're all over that side. OK, never mind. All right, let's tell you what you're taking away with you tonight. You won the home karaoke set, a Rolls Royce for a day, or the dishwasher, a holiday in Chicago, the money you won earlier, £1,100. So it's not a bad night's work, is it? Nice, thank you. Very, very nice. And thank you very much. All the best for your career thank and you, you Trevor. Thank you. And that's it. That's all we've got time for. Till we see you at the same time next week. Good night, good night. Good night, good night. Thank you. Bye bye. You've made us wait long enough. What's your final answer? Mecca Bingo Online, sponsors of Challenge. Human achievement. Looking good. The drive to understand. To improve. These are the things that bring us greatness. New iPhone 15 Pro with aerospace grade titanium at an everyday price on the UK's best network. Yes, well, we, we say we come for the breakfast, but really we come for a good old natter, don't we? I come for the breakfast. <laughs> Two full breakfasts and hot drinks for just £10. Morrison's to shop at Morrison's. Morrison's. You're the one that I want. With cushions from £6, find everything you want, all under one roof at Donnell, the home of homes. The British Empire. For some, its former glory has been called into question. But is it really a legacy of bloody conquest and exploitation? 
you've done something wrong, go in the hole. People just don't want to go there. This is intense. Join me, Al Murray, and me, quickly, quickly, as we journey to find out. Can we get out now? Why does everyone 